Hi guys, right, um, for those of you that are not into your motorcycles or even things like, well what I'm going to do is I'm doing a review on the Motorwolf um, phone holder that I have on my bike and also the GoPro action cam mount that I've got on my bike and also my new crash helmet. So for those of you not into your motorcycles, go and watch another one of my videos. If not, stay tuned. Hi right, guys, why wouldn't you want to come to Thailand? Huh? Look at this. Awesome. Come visit. A little review on the crash helmet and also a review on the motor wolf stuff that I brought here in Lazada uh, in Thailand, which is like the uh, Thai Amazon. And this is the uh, this is the packaging it comes in, and the phone mount is the same sort of packaging really. Um, and I'll come across the prices really really cheap these, and it's really really quality gear. So let's go and take a look at them on the bike. Um, it's a ball joint like a X Ram and ball joint, so you get this with it as well, and so you can adjust that everywhere you want to. So, and it's really strong, it's really solid, and it really fits the bike well, okay? And with that, you get a little ball joint with it. So I put the ball joint on here. See, so I can put my camera there, or there, if I want different angles. Uh, so um, normally what you can do, those little ball jockets are, are designed to fit here. So you can have it coming out there. So there's lots of different, I just had this on there anyway. Okay, so it's really good. So here's the um, phone mount. I've put two of these on there purely because I think it's solid enough without this. But I put it on obviously because I don't want to lose my phone. And so it's really sturdy. I had this ball joint on here um, anyway. So it fits on there. Again, it's the same construction. It's the same as an X mount. Uh, but this was this was 140 baht. You will find the links below for this from Lazada for those of you who are living in Thailand. And this was I think it was 200 or 210 baht that included the postage. That was 140 baht plus the postage. So it's really good. Um, a smaller phone, then you'll get away with just one of these at the back. But I had a spare one, so I put two on, so that will fit. You know, it just gives it that little extra. Just gives it that little extra, as you can see. You know how these work. But what I do, this is on my phone, and I have a little tether that I clip a little uh, jubilee, a little clip around the back here, so if it does fall off, it's not going to go far. So overall, it's really a pretty well well made, I think, for the price. It's a really, really well made um, setup I've got for my bike. So as I said, the links are below. And um, if you're living in Thailand, then go and order one because they're really cheap and they're really strong. A lot of the ones I've seen before are plastic. These are metal, as I said. I know I reiterate on them, but it's really strong, really good, great fit. On here, on this one, you get two, these little U-bolts, you get two. So you get one for a smaller bar and one for a bigger bar. And there are little rubber caps that go over these. So I've lost them. Maybe I should have um, put them in hot water so they expand more, put it on there, then it would contracted and sat on there better. But hey... Um, they're really really good. So as I said, they're really good. They're really cheap for those of you who are living in Thailand Check the links below guys and um, yeah, so here comes uh, a Little review a week of having um, the crash helmet my motorcycle They've got I've got bark busters on it which came with the bike Well, they say came with the bike They got bark busters and they have a spacer on them and over the years that spacers become rusty I took them all off at some point and sprayed them all, but they're rusty and they're knackered. So when my bike was in Honda Big Wings, I asked if they had them. I ordered the OEM ones and they're the wrong size totally. The, the nut won't go, the bolt won't go through it. So anyway, couldn't get them. Um, they said I can get new ones and they're 8,000 baht, i.e. you've got to buy the whole Bark Busters kit just to get them spacers, which is stupid. So um, I think I can get them on eBay in the UK, but obviously it's getting them here. So. I found a local place um, machine shop, so I took them, I took one off, and I took it down there yesterday, uh, a couple, two or three days ago, and asked them in my broken tie 
if they could make them. So I think he's going to make me a couple. So I'm just going to go and see if they're ready to pick them up and see what we've got. I know they're going to need spraying, which I can do that anyway. So they machine them for me. There you go. As I said. 160 baht, 100 baht, £2.50, £2.50, £3.50, 4 quid. So I've got to spray them and then put them on the bike. Guys, what I've done is wiped them all down with alcohol, cleaned them off, dried up, and I've put them on here. I've got another one of these to do, but these are them and they all seem to fit. There's a little bit slightly different with them, but I think it's going to work. So let's just give it the first coat of Prime. First coat. One thing about living in Thailand, the stuff does dry pretty quick. Coat of flat black, matte black. As I said, I've got one more space. I'll, mostly, I'll give it about four coats of primer. I'm going to give it about three or four coats of flat black. And then I'm going to do some clear lacquer just to protect it. Hey guys, so we've got the first clear lacquer. First clear lacquer on, uh, I'm going to do mostly about three or four of them. I'll do four because, yeah, on the handlebars. Get... Guys, <clears throat> a bit of two of them throwing. Got it all done. It's uh, turned out okay. Here you go. Got the little chrome space right from years ago in there. And there's the other one. That one's bigger that side. I don't know why. I think it's to do with the throttle. So, yeah, not a bad job. Considering. And why we were out, guys. Couldn't resist it. Got a little take out. This is the um, O'Neill Sierra 2. It's ECE 22.05 and it's got a great liner in it and they, they originally come with a D-ring but this is obviously the quick release which I do prefer. It's a lot easier to use. It's got the, uh, the chin, chin the chin strap here as such stops a lot of noise coming in so when I put a, a microphone in you don't get so much wind noise. This can be removed. It's very very comfortable. Um, it's got the drop down visor as well. There you go. A lot of uh, reviews I've seen say that it's quite a, um, a stiff um, catch for this to use but me I, I, I don't find it tough at all I think it's really good one thing I do say it's good for is um, the ventilation on it it feels about it it feels like it's an open face helmet the amount of wind it lets in and here in Thailand or anywhere that's hot you always want a little bit of um, ventilation and you get a lot of that because a lot of it comes in here and some gets pushed up here to keep the visor clean that is pin lock ready and you do get a pin lock with it. I, there's no need for me to use a pin lock here in, in Thailand because the ch I don't really get a, a... It doesn't fog up much. At night time it may do. But it's got some good exhaust vents at the back there. And you can see there through the, um, the liner and through the, um, EVA, uh, the, the, the actual polystyrene in there. There's a lot of ventilation in the helmet. It's very comfortable. I will say that it doesn't have... Um, <clears throat> the provision for um, speakers. Sorry, yeah, it doesn't come for. The, it doesn't come with the provision for um, ear speakers. So if you've got a system, it's not really going to fit in here because it's going to not fit flush and it won't be comfortable. Me, I don't bother with it. I, I've got a Senna two, and I used it on my own helmet. And for me, after using them, it's a great thing to have. But for me, I'd rather not have it with music and stuff or answer your phone. I've got my phone on, as I just showed you in the previous review, where my phone is. And if a, if a call comes in, I stop and I talk. I don't really want to be talking on the fly. It, for me, it's not really worth doing. I don't, for me, I don't do it. So the vents are there. This, obviously, here, that is for a communication system of some type i don't know which one that fits in it but as i said um all the um insides will come out and you can wash them always wash it with just a mild soap like a johnson's baby soap uh johnson's baby soap and let it dry in uh, not sunny but just let it dry at room temperature so all in all guys i would say four thousand uh four i pay four thousand five hundred baht they're retailing four thousand nine hundred fifty 
it's a cheap helmet and it ticks all the boxes for me and it's a really really awesome helmet I understand through my friend Mike um, that the Vimar which are an Italian make the Vimar is the same pretty much the same helmet but the overall finish on it I would say it's really good ticks the boxes for me and it's a really really good helmet so if you're thinking about the Sierra 2 I looked at reviews online uh, on YouTube and a lot of them were old so this hopefully will be the latest one and um, they do them in various colours I'll try and find um, the colours they do there's a black and white, a blue and white um, I like the fluorescent I think it was really really cool helmet again for me the comfort super comfort I've had it about a week, week and a half and so super comfort um, it allows a lot of airing and keeps you cool it's a very comfortable helmet it's worth every, every buck every penny, every pound, every dollar so if you're thinking of getting it it's a great helmet, I don't think you'll be disappointed for the price and disappointed at the quality the O'Neill stuff, it's really good I think so there we go, hope you enjoyed it so, so guys, so if you enjoyed the video um, please consider subscribing uh, give it a thumbs up and any comments you've got put them in the comments below and I'll endeavour to answer them and um, thanks to all my subscribers um, my motorcyclist subscribers and some of my non-motorcyclist subscribers like watching these things as well. So overall, a great thing. Thanks to all my subscribers again and um, most importantly, stay safe people.